Okay, this is the segment edition uh, practice. Okay, there should have been eight and nine here. So uh, the first one through six here, we're using the ruler postulate to um, find the distance between uh, the two points. So uh, number one here, we have points K and point N. So the easy way to do this is just count. So the distance between K and N is gonna be one, two, three. But if we use our formal definition, um, of the ruler postulate, we want to take the absolute value of the difference between the two the two numbers. So k is 5 and n is 8, so we want to take the absolute value of 5 minus 8, which is going to be the absolute value of negative 3, which is positive 3. If you just want to count and you don't, you don't have to show all this work, you can just put kn equals 3. Okay, the second one is pH. So here's H and here's P. So the absolute value of the dis difference, so two minus nine um, is gonna be negative seven. So the absolute value of negative seven is seven. Again, you can just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. D, I. So we want to find the distance between D and I. So here's D, here's I. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, or we can do the absolute value of negative 2 minus 3, which is going to be the absolute value of negative 5, which is 5. Okay, counting is fine too. Here for number 4, we have AE and FH. So we need to find both of those. So AE, um, let's erase all this. And this was eight, and this was nine. So AE here is going to be negative five minus negative one. So the absolute value of negative five minus negative one, which is going to be the absolute value of negative four, which is going to give us four. So AE is four. Then we need to subtract FH. So FH is going to be 2. Okay, again, if we want to write that formally, FH is going to be the absolute value of 2 minus 0, which is going to be 2. And then 4 minus 2 gives us 2. Um, okay, the next one. It's going to be DN minus IK, so D. And then, so there we're going to have two negative two minus a negative eight or a positive eight. So dn is going to be the absolute value of negative two minus eight, which is going to be absolute value of negative ten, which is going to be ten. Then we need to subtract ik. So here's i, here's k. Those are two apart. So two minus eight. I mean, 10 minus 2 is going to be 8, right? IK then is going to be absolute value of 5 minus 3, which is 10 minus 2 is 8. Okay. And then last one, EI. I'm just going to count these 1, 2, 3, 4. JN, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 minus 4 is 0. Okay. EI is 4 and JN is 4. Okay, then here we're finding the linear distance between the, each pair of points with the given coordinates. Okay, so um, it's linear distance. We're dealing with one dimension, so we only are going to have one coordinate. So this is 15 to 12. So again, you can just find the difference there. The absolute value of 15 minus 12 is going to be the absolute value of 3, which is going to equal... Okay, absolute value of 19 minus 12. Okay, so 19 minus negative 12, I mean. 19 minus negative 12 is going to be 31, right? Two negatives become a positive. 19 plus 12 is 31. Absolute value of 31 is 31. Here we take the absolute value of the difference, so 7.26 minus a negative 8.7. 
So again, that becomes a plus 7.26 plus 8.7. Let's see, seven and eight is gonna be 15. And then that's gonna be 0 0.896, 0 0.96. Okay, so the absolute value of 15.96 is 15.96. Um, okay, number 10, we're going to start with segment addition. So um, B is between A and C. Since we know B is between A and C, let's fill our diagram. First, we know X, A, B is X. We know A, C is 18. Uh, and we know B, C is 2X. So our segment addition posture says that if B is between A and C, then we know that A, B plus B, C equals A, C. So essentially the first piece, which is AB, plus the second piece, which is BC, equals the whole thing. So AB, so step one, let's write out our equation, AB plus BC equals AC. Okay, AB, we're going to, substitute, step two is to substitute in what we know. We know AB is X. We know BC is 2X. And we know AC, the whole thing is 18. So x plus 2x gives us 3x, and then we can divide by 3, and we get x equals 6. But we're not done because the question is asking us to find a and b, and b, c, a, b, and b, c. So a, b equals x. So a, b, we substitute in 6 for x, so a, b is going to be 6. b, c equals 2x. So we're going to substitute in x, 6 for x, and we get 2 times 6, so bc is going to equal 12. Okay. So here's ab, and then here's bc, 12. Um, so step one, write the equation. Step two, substitute in what we know. Step three, solve for x, and then step four, Substitute in the x um, into each of the segment lengths that we're trying to find, a, b, and b, c. Okay, number 11, b is between e and d. Um, b, d is t plus 9. Um, e, b is t. And then this whole thing is 31. e, b is 31. Uh, just to go back to number 10, though, how do we make sure we have the right answer? We know 6 plus 12 is 18, so we know they add up. Okay. So we can always check our answer on these on the end. So um, we have EB plus BD equals ED, right? The first piece EB plus the second piece BD equals the whole thing ED. So EB is T. Uh, BD is T plus 9, and ED is 31. So we combine like terms, so we're going to get 2T plus 9 equals 31. We can subtract 9 from both sides, so we get 2T equals 22. Divide both sides by 2, and we get T equals 11. But we need to find BD and EB. Well, we know EB equals t, so we know eb equals 11. Okay, and then we have ebd equals t plus 9. So again, we're going to substitute in. Oops, up here. So bd is going to be 11 plus 9, which is It's 10, and, uh, it's 10 and 11. Let's go down to 12. T, so this one, uh, they drew a diagram, and we should have crossed the diagram off because the diagram is wrong. Really, it's saying T is between R and S. So T should be between R and S. So your diagram's wrong. Um, so erase it, change it. It should be T and S. Or scribble out the whole thing. Okay. We should have R with T in the middle and S on the other side. 
are the SIDs. Okay, so let's fill it in. Um, it's telling us RT is 2x and TS is 4, and the whole thing is 3x minus 4. So our equation here, RT, first piece, plus second piece, TS, equals whole thing, RS. So RT, right, the distance from R to T, plus TS, the distance from T to S, is going to equal RS, the distance from R to S. RT is 2x. TS is 4, and RS is 3x minus 1. Okay, let's subtract 2x from both sides. We're going to get 4 equals x minus 1. We add 1 to both sides. 5 equals x. We want to find RS, so RS is 3x minus 1. So we substitute in the 5. So we get 3 times 5 minus 1, which is 14. We also need to find RT, so RT is 2x, so that's going to be 2 times 5, which is going to be 10. And again, if we want to check our answers, we substitute it in. So this is 10 plus 4 equals 14, right? 10 plus 4 equals 14. All right, the next one, a basketball coach is interested in measuring a player's vertical jumping ability. Um, so while standing, um, and reach, let's see, I, I zoomed in too much here. And reaching up, the player's hand reaches the four inch mark on the scale. When jumping up, the player reaches 19 inches. What is the player's jumping ability? Okay, so he reaches his hand up. Here's the wall. Let's draw it down here. Here's the wall. Uh, here is the measuring scale up top. So here's the guy. He reaches his hand up and he hits four inches. Okay. When he jumps, he's going to hit 19 inches. So how many inches did he jump? Well, he jumped up from four inches to 19 inches. So we're going to do 19 minus four is going to give us 15 um, inches. Okay, it's that simple. Okay, it's just a scale. So you're starting at zero. His hand starts at four. Maybe this is 30. Um, and he goes from four up to 19. So what's the difference between these two? 19 minus four is 15 inches. The distance between 19 and 4 is 15. Okay, last, uh, we got five on this page. Okay, so in here we want to know um, which points in the middle is essentially what we're asking. So we're going to have three points here. I want to know which one's in the middle. So if we just label them A, B, C, okay, we're going to have A, B is 12, B, C is 8. So 12 plus 8 is 12 plus 8, 4? No. So we know B is not in the middle. So we can try a different combination. B, A, C. With A in the middle. Okay. A, B is 12. C, B is the whole thing 8. And then A, C is 4. Is 12 plus 4 equal to 8? No. So we got to try again. How about A, C, B? So we know A, C is 4. C, B is 8. 4 plus 8 is 12. So we know C is in the middle. Um, the trick you can do here, too, is the longest piece is AB, so that means A and B have to be your endpoints. Right? So we don't need to really guess and check. We just know take the longest one, um, and the two points are of that longest distance are going to be um, the, the big segment, the endpoints. So here, B and C are the... This is the biggest piece. So we know that B and C are the endpoints. We do it over here. We know that B and C are the endpoints, which means A has to be in the middle. And if we do that, we have 9 plus 3 is going to give us 12. 
So A in this case is in the middle, point A is in the middle. Um, find the value of the variable. So um, AB is 3x minus 4. Okay, AC, the whole thing is 40. Then it's saying that AB equals BC. Well, if AB is 3x minus 4, then BC is also going to be 3x minus 4. So our equation here is AB plus BC is going to equal AC. So 3x minus 4 plus 3x minus 4 is going to equal 40. Combine like terms, that's 6x minus 8 equals 40. We can add 8 to both sides. Uh, let's write it over here. 6x minus 8 equals 40. We can add 8 to both sides. We get 6x equals 48. Then we can divide both sides by 6, and we get x equals 8. Um, so the variable is 8. How do we check 8? Let's put it in. 3 times 8 minus 4 is 24 minus 4, which is 20. So we know 20 plus 20 equals 40, so we know we have the right answer. Sixteen, uh, A, B, we don't know. B, C is 2x squared. A, C, the whole thing is, is this one in a different color? 2x squared. We know this whole thing is 64. And A, B equals B, C, so since that's 2x squared, this is also 2x squared. So same thing, A, B, B is between A and C, so we can use the segment addition postulate to say A, B plus B, C equals A, C. So um, A, B plus B, C equals A, C. So 2x squared plus 2x squared equals 64. That's going to be 4x squared equals 64. Divide by 4, x squared is going to equal 16. And to get rid of the square, we got to take the square root, so x is going to be plus or minus 4. Okay. And, um, yeah, negative. Again, you can have a negative x, but you can't have a positive. I mean, you can have a negative x, but not a negative distance. But if we substitute in negative 4, negative 4 times negative 4, so again, plus or minus 4, right? That Either way, that's going to give you um, 16. So 2 times 16 is... 32. So 32 and 32. So 32 plus 32 is 64. So bam. We know we did it right again. Okay. Let me uh, can I scroll up or is it going to go to the next page? Nope, again. So 17. Uh, let's fill in our chart. So 2x, bc is x squared, and then fc is 24. So our first piece is fe, so our formula is going to be fe plus our second piece is ec. So fe plus ec is going to equal the whole thing, fc. Substitute in, we have fe is 2x, ec is x squared, fc is 24. So again, fe plus ec whole thing. So 2x plus x squared equals 24. So this one we have a, an x squared and an x. So we're going to need a factor. So I'm going to rearrange these. So x squared plus 2x equals 24. I'm then going to subtract 24 from both sides. So x squared plus 2x minus 24 equals 0. So let's put it up here. x squared plus 2x minus 24 equals 0. Um, so we need to factor, so x minus 6, how about x plus 6 and x minus 4, right, you guys use the x method, right, so you need something that's going to multiply to negative 24 and add to positive 2, um, so 6 and negative 4, we're going to add to positive 2, multiply to negative 24. 
So then we get x plus 6 equals 0 and x minus 4 equals 0. So you subtract 6, we get x equals negative 6. Add 4, x equals positive 4. Okay, we've got to see uh, which one of these works. So um, in the last one, both the x values were squared, so you could have plus or minus. In this one, though, if we substitute in negative 6, 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. And we can't have a negative distance, so this one's not going to work. It's going to have to be 4. And we can check our answer. Okay, 2 times 4 is 8. 4 squared is 16. 16 plus 8 is 24. All right. Um, next one is very similar. So uh, let's put a diagram in. F is between T and R. So F is between T and R. So TF is 3X. FR is 4X minus 2. Okay, and the whole thing here is 54. So uh, let's write our equation out. So TF is the first piece of the segment. So TF plus FR is going to equal the whole thing, which is TF. Okay, TF is 3x. FR is 4x minus 2. And TR is 54. Combine like terms, we get 7x minus 2 equals 54. Let's add 2 to both sides. So we're going to get 7x equals 56. We divide by 7 on both sides. x is going to be equal to 8. But we're not looking for x. We're looking for TF and FR. So we need to substitute them in. So TF is 3x. So that's going to be 3 times 8, which is 24. So that's TF. So TF is 24. Okay, and then FR is equal to 4x minus 2. So that's going to be equal to 4 times 8 minus 2, which is going to be 32 minus 2, which is 30. And what is 24 plus 30? 24 plus 30 is 54. So check. We know we did it wrong. All right, 19. Uh, is segment PQR, I'm sorry, segment PQ plus segment QR equals segment PR. Draw a picture of PQ or R. Oh, draw a picture of which of the points P, Q, and R. So um, P, Q, there's segment P, Q. Okay, here's segment Q, R. Okay, Q, R. And that's going to equal P, R. So Q is between the other two points, Q is the one that's between the other two. But given that R is between S and T, draw a picture and find each of the missing sides. So given that R is between S and T, so S, R, T. R is between S and T. We know that TS, the whole thing here, is going to be 11.75. And we know TR is 3.4. Okay, and we know S, and we're looking for SR. So, um, first piece here is SR, RS, it doesn't matter which way you write it. I'm just going to write it SR plus RT equals ST. So we know SR plus RT. TR and RT are the same thing, right? So SR equals RS. And ST equals TS. So 3.4. I'm sorry. And then RT equals TR. Right. 
11.75. Okay, subtract 3.4 from both sides. So SR is going to equal um, 65, 55, 45, 35. So that's going to be 8 points on 35. Same thing down here. Okay, this, this time we're going to use fractions. Um, same thing, SRT. So we have 11 thirds, 5 thirds, and we want to know the whole thing. So SR plus RT equals ST. So again, the first piece SR plus the second piece RT equals ST. So that's going to be 11 thirds plus 5 thirds equals ST. 11 thirds plus 5 thirds, so the denominator is the same, so we can just add them. So 11 plus 5 is 16, so that's going to be 16 thirds equals ST. So 16 thirds. Okay. All right, 21, what do we got left? 5, okay, 21. If ST, we'll find ST, if S is between R and T. So um, that's not a very straight line. So find ST if S is between R and T. Uh, and SR or RS is 2X plus 7. So again, it doesn't matter. SR is the same as RS. And ST is X minus 6. And RT is one. Okay, so our equation here is going to be RS plus ST equals RT. The first piece plus the second piece equals the whole thing. RS is 2x plus 7. ST is x minus 6. And RT is 100. Combine like terms, this is going to be 3x uh, plus 1 equals 100. We can subtract 1 from both sides, and we get 3x equals 99. And then we divide by 3, and we get x equals 33. Okay, we want to find st. So st is x minus 6. So st is going to be 33 minus 6, which is going to be 20. Easy peasy. If A is between B and C, so again, um, if A is between B and C, AB is, again, or BA, same thing, is 3x plus 6. Uh, AC is 2x plus 14. If the length of the two segments is the same, uh, sorry, what's it say? A little bit cut off. This is 22. Uh, if the length of the two segments is the same, then what is the measure of BC? So if these two are the same, we can set them equal to each other. So 3x plus 6 equals 2x plus 14. Let's subtract 2x from both sides. That's x plus 6 equals 14. Subtract 6, we get x equals 8. So um, 3 so BA is 3x plus 6, and uh, AC is 2x plus 14. So this is going to be 3 times 8 plus 6, which is 24 plus 6, which is 32. And AC is going to be 2 times 8 plus 14. which is 16 plus 14, which is, whoa, what did we do wrong? 24 plus 6 is 30. So this one should also be 30. Then 30 plus 30 is, okay, and then we want BC, right? So BC is going to equal BA plus AC. 
So BC is going to equal 30 plus 30, which is 60. Okay. 23. Okay, if T is between, if U is between T and D, so again, we're going to draw it out. Lots of problems here. If T, U is between T and B, okay, uh, let me draw it out here. So. so U is between T and B, T, U is 2X, U, B is 3X plus 1, and T, B is 20. So our equation is going to be TU plus UB equals TB. Okay, find the value of X and the measure of T. Draw a picture. All right. TU is 2X. UB is 3X plus 1. And TB is 21. Combine like terms. 5X plus 1 equals 21. Subtract 1. 5X is going to be equal to 20. Divide by 5. X is going to be equal to 4. Okay, then it also wants TU, so TU is going to equal 2X, which is going to be 2 times 4, which is going to be 8. So TU is going to be 8. We can check our answer. So um, this is 8. Uh, X is 4, so 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. 13 plus 8 is 21. So we know we have the right answers there. All right, how many different ways to name the line? Given the following information, list all the ways. Um, so there, there should be 16, I believe. Um, you just need to pick two of the four. So, um, or is it 32? You pick two of the four. Is it four square? Well, let's see. So we have AB and BA. Okay. We have AC and CA. Okay. We have AD and DA. Okay, that's all those. We have BC and CB. We have BD and DB, and then we have CD and DC. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I guess I don't even know what I was thinking. There's 12. 12 ways here. Unless we missed one. Right? 12 different ways there. All right, last one here. Katie is between Houston and San Antonio. Uh, if the distance from Katy, so here's Houston, here's Katy, and here's San Antonio. San Antonio. So here's San Antonio, here's Katy, here's Houston. If the distance between Katy and San Houston is x squared minus 5x miles, so 5x squared minus 5x miles. 4x and kd to Houston is 4x minus 12 miles. The total distance um, between them is going to be 120. And find how far is it between each city. So we need to find the distance from Houston to San Antonio. Wait. How far is, is kd a city or a person? I guess Katie is a person. I mean, a city. So we need to find the distance between Houston and the city, Katie. It, because why wouldn't it say how far is she between each city? How far is it between each city? So I guess Katie is a city. So anyways, Houston to Katie. So let's call that HK. So if I call this H. K and S. Okay, we're going to have HK plus KS equals HS. HK is 4X minus 12. KS is X squared minus 5X. 
and HS is 120. 4X minus 12 plus X squared minus 5X is 120. Um, let's combine like terms. So uh, negative 12 plus X squared minus X equals 120. I'm going to rearrange this so it's X squared minus 12, I mean minus X. Minus 12 equals 120, and I'm going to subtract 120 from both sides. Okay. So we get x squared minus x minus 132 equals 0. From there, we need to factor. Uh, this is going to be minus 12 and plus 11. Okay, again, you could do your x method. What adds up to negative 1 and multiplies to negative 132? Well, it's going to be negative 12 and negative and positive 11. Negative 12 and positive 11. Okay, so x minus 12 equals 0. And x plus 11 equals 0. So we get x equals 12 and x equals negative 11, right? We subtract 11, subtract 11, add 12, add 12. Okay, so we get these two choices. Um, but we notice if we put in the negative 11 here, we're going to get negative 44 minus 12 is negative 56, and you can't have a negative distance. So we're not going to use this one. We're going to use this one. So how far is Houston to Katy? Houston to Katy is uh, 4x, so 4 times 12 minus 12, which is going to give us 48 minus 12, which is going to give us 36. Okay. How far is Katie from San Antonio? That's x squared minus 5x. So that's going to be 12 squared minus 5 times 12. So that's going to be 144 minus 60, which is going to be 86. Sorry for my sloppy work here, but... KS, KS, KS is 86. Okay, and what's 36 plus 86? I'm sorry, what would we do wrong? Come on now. Um, 84. All right, 84 plus 36 is going to give us 120. So H, S. Houston to San Antonio is 120. So there's our three distances. Okay. And that is the segment edition worksheet. Monday, Tuesday, and a little bit on Wednesday, and some on Thursday of the week of Monday, September 9th.